We are back with Barry Jennings from the law offices of James Scott Farron and Nicole Patino from the law offices of Nicole Patino answering your legal questions about vaccines and masks and COVID and all the jazz. Okay, here we go again with the text messages. Uh, this question is, can I work from home instead of going back to work and getting the COVID shot? Possibly. So if you have a if you have one of those reasons for not getting a COVID um, shot that I mentioned, COVID vaccine that I mentioned earlier, a disability or a religious objection, then your employer is obligated to engage in um, the interactive process with you and try to come to some reasonable accommodation. So if working from home is a reasonable accommodation, then absolutely. And if you don't have one of those reasons, your employer still may accommodate you, but they're not required to but they're not required to. Okay, what happens if I got sick at work and I was out more than a week? Can I claim that as workers comp? Sure, it, yes, if, if, you're, if you got sick and you contracted COVID from work and you can meet that proof requirement that I was talking about before and the insurance company says, yeah, we agree, we're responsible, then you are entitled to a wage replacement benefit. It's two thirds of what you made on average each week. So, you know, that's certainly a possibility if the insurance company agrees and or if you can go to court and prove that you uh, meet those requirements. So I guess my follow up question is, how do you prove that you got it from work? What, what would you have to have to know yeah. that? You, you hit the nail on the head on the challenge in these legal cases, really. When what thought what in these cases where people have contracted COVID and they think they got it at work, it's all about how do we prove or how can they prove that it came from somebody at work? If you were working from uh, beside somebody and they had COVID and then nobody in your house had COVID and four or five or six or seven days later you got it, well, that's a set of facts that you might want to you know look into. But it, again, it's it's going to be a case by case basis. Talking to a lawyer who's got some experience is probably the best thing. Gotcha. Okay. All right, Nicole, this person is asking, can a store require you to wear a mask if the workers are not wearing masks? Yes, because they may, all the workers may have vaccinations. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. This is an interesting question. Um, if I'm a healthcare provider and a patient asks me if I had my vaccine, am I obligated to answer? I don't think so. And I do have several friends who are healthcare providers. A lot of time they will change the subject, even, even the fully vaccinated ones. Most healthcare providers are vac vaccinated, um, but n there's no obligation to tell a patient or client um, that information. Interesting, okay. Um, and so that was kind of like one back to the whole HIPAA thing, like can they ask you in a business? They can ask you, but that doesn't mean that you have to answer. Right. That's right. All right, and uh, Nicole, you had brought up something in the break about vendors and people outside of the company sometimes coming in and how that could work with either a customer or someone at work. Right, so th there is some debate right now about whether there's negligence, a negligence result, and whether non-employees like vendors or customers would be um, the employer or the business could be held liable if that person caught COVID from the business. Okay, um, one more time, if you don't mind addressing it, Barry, this person is asking, um, how come some businesses can still require masks after, after the governor's last executive order? I get it, it's a tough one because it just seems like, you know, why, what, what's the point? But it's, again, we've experienced this in our lives for as long as you, what you said earlier, Tanya, you know, no shirt, no shoes, no service, right? That's a requirement that a business is putting on you before you go in there. And this is that same thing, a business can decide. And it's, and it's because they are responsible for who's in that store. If other people are in that store, they have a duty to protect them in some ways. And so if they choose to protect them by people, requiring people to wear a mask, they can do that. Mm -hmm. I think we forget that businesses can choose whether they take cash or not, whether they set a limit for how right. much you have to spend on debit, that kind of stuff. That's and this right. falls in the same kind of thing, even though it's a health thing. There's mm -hmm. no question about that. All right. We appreciate both of your time, your expertise as well. The last question I had was, hey, how do I get my COVID card, uh, my vaccination card, if I lost it? Go to the two wants to know section right now because I just posted a story about that, about how you look it up on the state portal and the website. Thank you, folks. We appreciate you. We appreciate you for sending in your text messages. You can look in the two wants to know section if you missed any of this information.